Welcome everyone, and today I'm going to show you how to upgrade your Samsung Galaxy S4 Verizon Edition to the new KitKat NC5 rooted Diodex BusyBox tethering. Let's see what else we have here. Extended reboot menu to see that KitKat 4.4.2. So what we're going to see here, now this is my phone. I'll be doing my wife's phone. This is a baseband version, see NC5, Android version 4.4.2. What you're also going to unlock is like this Wi Fi hotspot here, all these nice toggles, your extended menu here. Look at that power off, airplane restart, recovery, download, flashlight, screenshot. Pretty sweet. So, this is what we're doing today, so let's get started. All right, here's my wife's phone. She's currently running the Android version 4.3. Her baseband version is MK2. She is also rooted. She has Safe Strap installed, and this is once again the Verizon Samsung Galaxy S4. Now, with these features here, you must have Safe Strap. Okay, that's one of the most important things to have on this phone to do what I'm about to do for this upgrade. Now, before we also begin, you need to read the original post. The original post will um of the form, I'll have it all linked below. It'll tell you everything that you need to do. And if you goof up, which I did a couple of times getting all this put together, it'll show you exactly how to put it all back together using Odin, which we'll be running here shortly. So, but before we start doing anything with this phone, we need to prepare it. And to do that, we have SafeStrap installed. It may be a little difficult for you to see on the screen here, but right here it says install recovery, uninstall recovery, and reboot to recovery. You need to have version 3.72. Now, if you have already have SafeStrap installed from you know previous routing methods and stuff, it's probably 3.71. I'll have a link below. The form also discusses that link. It's um, AT&T version of safe strap but it should work and do just fine matter of fact it de it does it works so first thing you need to do is download safe strap install it go here make sure you uh, uninstall the recovery because it's going to tell you up here that your recovery is either old or outdated and then install the new recovery here so once you do that you can reboot to recovery and see that you are on 3.72 now we're going to go back. You also need to download. Okay, let's go to this file right here. I'll have it linked in the forms or uh, down below as well. Excuse me. Um, this file right here, stock root diodex.zip. Okay, this here is pretty much your phone the new system that's going to be running on this. You will have to flash this first and amongst a couple other things and you also need to download this um, update Super Sue. It's a just in case thing because once you flash this version up here you want to put that behind us so you still have Super Sue on here because it's pretty much a complete Bone stock, you know, all your stuff is going to be on there like Samsung would have loved it. And same thing with Verizon. Instead, it's got those uh, features I had described earlier. So those two items are going to get it flashed within SafeStrap version 3.72. So once they're uh, flashed, we're going to go to that spot there and we're going to talk a little bit about it. Then we're going to go over to the computer and work on that end. All right. I have now restarted my phone. It's going to boot back up and we're going to go into safe strap. So once this gets going here and then we'll verify once again that we have the right version. I'm going to go to recovery. You must have this safe strap installed or else this, this update is not going to happen. If you've already got the over the air NC5 KitKat, the form also talks a little bit about how to go back to um, what you had before and then you can redo some of the stuff and come back to this root method here. Alright so what we have here 
up top you can see we are safe strap 3.72 which is great all right so at this point I always like to make sure that I have um, you know everything that I need of course and so I like to hit install I don't install anything yet I just want to make sure I've got all the stuff I need so under your own, whichever folder you decide to create is totally up to you okay I got the DODEX version that I want and I got the super suit right here ready to be flashed so before we do all this you're gonna to want to go to wipe okay then advanced wipe because we're wiping the Dalvik data regular cache and your system do not wipe your micro SD card because you're gonna really screw things up but you're gonna click check here data cache system alright you want to check all four of those and then swipe to wipe alright so we swipe to wipe there we go now it's wiping everything on this phone except for of course the external SD card alright now we want to go back go back again I'm just going to go to swipe to factory reset is probably not going to do anything but sometimes just giving a little bit of an extra wipe I guess might just help things out okay now at this point you're going to go to install alright you're going to first start with this stock root deck zip you have to be very careful when it's done do not reboot this phone okay so I'm going to click there alright and then I'm going to go ahead and swipe to confirm flash let this take place here we are done everything's ready to go I do not want to go to reboot system what I want to do is I want to go back alright now I want to install I'm going to go back to this point here I want to install my super su zip okay so let's go ahead and flash that should take but a second here to go in done okay now what I'm gonna do is you wanna go back this is the way I do just to be extra safe you wanna go to reboot and you wanna reboot to download mode so you can run Odin alright once it's in download mode we will hook up our cable here and then we're gonna go on over to the computer now that we're at the computer what I'm going to have linked below are the um, this upgrade zip, all right, and this Odin zip. Okay, this downgrade zip would be only if you were to goof up, and that would be in the original post. But I'll have these two linked as well. But what you want to do is unzip that, and what you're going to end up getting is these three files. You're going to be very concerned with the top two. We're going to be loading those here in just a few minutes. So. But I recommend do not use one of the Odins that you currently have. Please use the one that you that are, that's on this that comes with this file here. So you want to go to Odin. Let's go ahead and cut that on. All right, see that we're good to go at the um, COM4. Everything is running great. We're good to go on this part. So at this point, we're going to go ahead and add our two files that I mentioned previously alright so in the form it says um, the first file will be AP this file right here says AP Verizon right in that and see it's down below over here in the message how everything's working out alright then it also says the load CP which is this one right here alright once that's good we got everything loaded then we're gonna go ahead and hit start here in just a second I'm just gonna re make sure I reviewed my files and everything looks good okay now that I've double checked everything you leave all these settings exactly the way they've been left AP goes into here the CP goes into here your phone is connected it's in download mode so we're going to go ahead and we're going to hit start and up here in the corner here 
should show you all the things that are happening. So let's go ahead and hit start. All right, shows boot, then recovery. All right, everything's looking good so far. Looking great. Now, if, when you look over to your phone, you're gonna see a blue bar on, underneath your download mode because things are downloading onto that from here. So everything looked good. So now we're gonna head on over to our phone. All right, here's our phone. I'm gonna go ahead and hit continue. All right, we get the, uh, the standard animation, the new Verizon logo. Colors are kind of difficult to see from the lighting here, but this is the moment of truth. You let this run through, and we'll see what happens here in just a second. It should take maybe a minute or two. There we go. The backlighting just dimmed. That tells me that things are working. Bam, perfect. All right, please wait while you prepare your phone. This is all good. It's perfect. At this point, um, you have your phone. I'm just going to roll through a couple settings real quick, and then I'll be right back. Okay, so here we go. We are in our new phone. Well, pretty much new. You can see all the white icons up top. We go to more. You go down here and go to about phone. And you're going to see that we're on Android 4.4.2, NC5. Now, things look a little like old school, okay, where you got these tabs and stuff up here, but let this thing idle out, let all the stuff download, let the things come on here, the, the, whatever you want to put on here, put on here. Then reboot it one more time. When you reboot it, then your toggles here, as you can see, there isn't, it's not showing you any at the moment. But when you restart this phone, all these toggles will show, will show up and you'll have your tethering, everything will be perfect. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please ask. I'm going to put uh, some steps down below. Put all the stuff that you may need down there. Um, links to the forum. Links to the uh, developer, Surge1223, who put all this together. Um, his downloads, and then, of course, my Dropbox downloads. So I hope you all enjoyed this. Um, good luck, take care, and uh, have fun with this.